Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel where we explore economics, business and marketing topics in a fun and interactive way. Today we are going to talk about one of the most interesting topics in industrial organization, the oligopoly king demand model. First of all, what is an oligopoly? An oligopoly is a market structure characterized by a small number of dominant firms who collectively control a significant share of a market. This is in contrast to a monopoly where a single firm controls the entire market or a perfectly competitive market where there are many small firms and no barriers to entry. Now let's talk about Paul Sweezy, one of the most influential economists of the 20th century. Sweezy was a Marxist economist who focused on the nature of the monopoly capitalism and its impact on the society. One of his most important contributions was the development of the oligopoly king demand model. So, what exactly is the oligopoly king demand model? In an oligopoly, firms are independent, meaning that their actions affect each other's profits. The king demand model assumes that the firms face a king demand curve, which is shaped like a V. On the downward sloping portion of the curve, any price increase will lead to a decrease in demand, which will affect the firm's profits. However, on the upward sloping portion of the curve, any decrease in price will lead to an increase in demand, but not necessarily an increase in profits. This is because other firms may respond by lowering the prices as well, and therefore profit gain from increasing demand will be offset by a decrease in price. Let's take a look at an example to illustrate this. Imagine there are two firms producing laptops in the market. If one firm decides to raise its price, then its demand will decrease as consumers will switch to the cheaper alternative. However, if one firm decides to lower its price, the other firms may respond by lowering their prices as well in order to maintain its market share. This will lead to an increase in demand for both firms but not necessarily an increase in profits as prices will be lower. Another example of oligopoly king demand model can be seen in the market of gasoline, petrol. In many countries, there are a small number of dominant oil companies that control a large share of the market. If one firm raises its prices, then it will likely to face a decrease in demand as consumers switch to cheaper alternatives. However, if one firm lowers its prices, the other firms may respond by lowering their prices as well in order to maintain their market share. This leads to an increase in demand for all firms but not necessarily increase in profits as the prices will be lower. So why is the oligopoly king demand model so important? The king demand model provides a unique insight into the behavior of firms in oligopolistic markets. It suggests that the firms in oligopoly are reluctant to change their prices as they are afraid of the consequences of their actions on the market. This results in a sticky price behavior where prices are slow to change even in responses to change in demand or cost. In conclusion, the oligopoly king demand model is a valuable contribution in the field of industrial organization. It provides a deeper understanding of the behavior of firms in oligopolistic markets and their implications of their actions on the market. So that's it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more topics like this. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.